Alrighty, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we'll be looking at sort of Composure, the Composure plugin. So, um, you know, we have this uh, camera setup we made in the last couple of tutorials, um, you know, for our uh, virtual production with the Oculus, uh, or really any one. But how do I output this, you know, so how do I use this with Composure? So Composure is used for sort of outputting to things like uh, those video walls, I believe, and you know, those black magic cards and stuff like that, sort of your pro video outputs and stuff. So, how do I use that with this? Because uh, if we have a quick look, uh, let's hide Steam VR. If we create a new composure or comp, I should say, uh, new layer and CG. Uh, so, if we go over to it, here it is CG element, you'll notice on the input, uh, if we change the camera source to override, we can't, there's nothing in our scene. Even though our track camera is in our scene, we can't use it. Um, that's because, you know, Composure can't really use um, uh, cameras inside blueprints, which is a bit annoying. So um, this tutorial is going to sort of say, show you how we're going to override that. Um, uh, now, for ease of use and for demonstrating, I've set up a little plane here, um, and so we're going to be outputting our Composure to that rather than a black magic card or something like that. Uh, let's say render target. Uh, so that's probably a tutorial for another day uh, like that. So how, how do we do this? Um, so some people are saying like parenting a cine camera to stuff like that and all sorts of other stuff. Um, the way I've come up with it, and again, this isn't the be all to end all of ways to do it or the best way to do it. This is the way I've found to do it and it works for me. So that's how I'm doing it. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a new blueprint class. Um, now, instead of choosing actor, which is what we've been using all this time, we're going to go to all classes and we're going to type cine. Uh, and so we, here we've got, you know, an object and a cinema camera. And so if we select it, uh, I'm just going to call it camera like so. So now if we drag it into the world it's a cine camera and on the detail panel we've got everything for a cine camera to have. So this is essentially a cine camera but if we open it up it can sneaky sneaky run blueprint stuff and ooh, pardon me, the important part is if we go to our CG element uh, down here it shows up Oh, yeah, there we go. My little plane's just updated. And so now we need to look at how do we get this working like this? Because, uh, oh, open for blueprint editor. Um, it doesn't quite work the same way. So um, what we're going to do is start off with is we're just going to copy this and paste it. So this is all the code we had made, um, minus some improvements I made to the lens and the autofocus. Uh, but you can add those in afterwards, uh, you know, to get this track camera to work. And we're just going to paste them into here. Now, sadly, it's not going to work just like that. Um, so first we need to sort of create the variables. We have, actually, I think we only had that one variable. All right, so next what we need to do is change our um, our uh, targets here. So re remember, if you remember, we had the arrow, which was for moving around, um, and then we had the cube, and then the, that was parented, or the, we had a cube that was parented to the arrow, which was controlling the camera, and then we could move the camera. Didn't have anything; it was just parented to the cube, and you could move the camera around um, to make an offset. Um, now, sadly, we cannot uh, parent these inherited objects to anything, uh, so we sort of have to go around that. So uh, for our uh, relative transform stuff, we're going to directly use the camera. So we can just drag it in and do like that. That, um, let me see if there's any others. Uh, uh, and for the moving, uh, we're going to use the scene component. So it, it pretty much works. Uh, plug that into there and that down into there. Uh, and so the last thing we have is this uh, for our lens set. So if, if this this will be 
you know, even if you're using the new way of changing through lenses, you know, you still need this reference here. Um, one thing you may notice is this is considered a camera component, not a cinema camera component. And so we can't drag it in, which is a bit annoying, but there is a way of getting that. Uh, so if we drag off this, um, you'll notice under camera, there is a get cinema camera component. Um, and so we're just going to use that into all of these and into there and into there. Uh, and then we're simply going to use a self node like that. And so we're going to get ourselves and find the cinema camera component, which obviously we can't see here because I don't know how Unreal figures that, um, which there is one hidden in here somewhere and then set it as the target. And everything else, um, other than that, should be fine. So if we hit compile and save, the only um, uh, caveat, I guess, is uh, every time you save or compile the blueprint, the camera in the scene is like reset. So you just have to redo the uh, target for the composure. But you know, so once you set up the camera, there's no, that's it, done. Alrighty, so one thing I'd like to do for this testing is uh, disable camera mesh hidden in game just so we can see it. Um, and you may notice it doesn't move. Oh no. Uh, but if I hold the button, our smooth button, it does move. Uh, what gives? Well, uh, one thing we I forgot to do is the default value for smoothness. So remember we said if it's set to zero, then it won't move at all. Um, scratching my head about that for a couple of seconds. Uh, there we go. And then if we get the headset, there we go. That I just realized. Uh, so uh, because we just redid the compiled it, we need to set it back again, annoyingly. Um, uh, and it needs to be spun around. And just like that, it works. So we pick it up. And as you can see, you know, ooh, I hit the mouse. There we go. As you can see, you know, our lenses work, our smoothing works. You know, we can still take screenshots, um, you know, but now we have the composure output. And obviously you can output through like a one of the black magic cards or um, what else could you do? Uh, you know, I don't think this works with end display. I'm not 100% sure how end display works at the moment. But you know, those black magic cards to uh, other monitors and stuff like that, and uh, sort of your compositing stuff. And so, if you want to bring in video footage and all that, then that's how. You know, I so I don't really have an interest in that specific stuff, that live actiony stuff. Um, however, you know, this is how I've managed to get composure working with the cinema camera. So uh, thank you.